Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, as you probably know. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing through, you know the drill. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, what else is there? Share, subscribe. Um, this is going to be a long one, so you might as well put me on pause and um, go and get yourself a cup of tea, glass of wine, some Baileys, whatever you fancy. Because um, somebody asked me about, well, somebody was in a dilemma because, you know, the Home Office is closed and they are in the middle of an appeal. I couldn't find anything um, that I could definitively say what they could do about the appeal. But I just thought, you know, I'd go through the main tenets of what is going on with the Home Office now it's shut down and for those people who are in limbo and they're in between um, unable to get their biometrics sorted and all that kind of stuff so I'm just going to kind of read most of it because it's not really my bag as you know you need to seek legal advice even though legal advice is really hard these days because most of the legal offices are closed so I really don't know what to say, but at least if you have an idea about what is going on, you won't worry so much and you won't waste your time stressing. That is what I'm hoping you're going to get by the end of this video. OK, so it's difficult for immigrants who need legal advice before renewing their visas when legal practices are closed. Home offices too and biometrics cannot be processed. Because they're in between immigration status, if they do have to stop working or self-isolating, they cannot claim anything, and that's a problem. You know, a lot of people think that um, there is a lot of illegal immigrants in the country. I know there are some, but there are also immigrants who come over here. I'm not quite sure how it works. But they come over here, they get these um, interim visas, which enable them to work. And they end up working for places like social care and um, the NHS. And I'm not quite sure what visa they come on. So they probably come on some kind of, they're probably qualified nurses. I don't know what they come on. But the problem is, is that when they come on these um, interim visas, that might last for maybe three months or six months. It does mean in a crisis like this, they're in limbo because what will happen is, is that whereas ordinarily they would be applying to have their visa renewed, all things being equal, the offices were open, biometrics were open, they could just go and have their visas renewed, they would pay the difference and get on with their work. Now, because the Home Office is closed, they're unable to extend. And what that means is they could find themselves under the overstayer status. Now, what the Home Office is saying is that they are extending it to the 31st of May, which is all well and good. But what happens is, is that a lot of times, People like landlords or people like, um, say, universal credit, they want reassurances for a longer period than just 30 days. And so what's happening is that, you know, they're, let, they're, they're kind of self-isolating sometimes, some of them. So they can't go into work. They've got no recourse to public funds. And so they're just there with, out anything without any money and no way of getting an extension so for people like that it's really really difficult hopefully if everything's sorted out by the 31st of may at the moment they are not um they are not illegal if the thing is is that it's very very tricky at the moment they've been extended anyone who's got a visa due to expire between January 2020 and um, the 31st of May, I think it is. No, I think it was April. Anybody whose visa was supposed to expire within that time frame 
had an extension to the 31st of April, 31st of May. Now, that extension is not automatic. You have to go via, they did have an email, first of all, but now they've changed it. I don't know how people are supposed to know this, but now they've changed it to an online form. So it's no point emailing them. You know, they've got a number, they've got an email address, chi at something, something, something. I'll tell you what it is. But that is no good for extensions. You have to extend via the online form. And also... The extension only applies under a Section 3 of the Immigration Act 1971. And I've got a funny feeling that if you're, if you're the country where you come from is open, you don't have an extension. So you have to be really, really careful because what they're saying is when they're asking you for your name, your address and the reason why, you're seeking the extension. The only reason why you were qualified for that extension is if the countries, the, the airports to the country that you're coming from or you live or you reside in are closed. If they're not closed, you can be considered an overstayer. So you've got to be extremely careful. Some people think, oh, yeah, it's been extended to 31st of May. I'm absolutely fine. That is not the case. So you need to be ready to chip if, I mean, if your airport is open because they're going to give you such short notice if, you, if there's an airport open to where, you're, to where you live. Like, for example, I understand Jamaica's just opened up their airports very, very slowly. They're just taking back people very, very slowly. But if you're from Jamaica and your visa is expiring, round about now you need to be thinking about going back as opposed to taking advantage of the coronavirus extension it's not guaranteed okay so that that um i think if the government really cared about those essential services like those people are working for social care and nhs they would extend it for more than five weeks i mean for the NHS staff, they have extended it for a year at no cost to them and no cost to their families. And that is brilliant. You know, they don't even have to apply. It's just automatic. So that is good news for NHS staff, doctors and nurses, qualified NHS staff, not your average John Joe. OK, so... Um, uh, oh, yeah, this is what I was saying regarding the coronavirus extension policy. If your leave is about to expire, it is important to have legal advice because providing the details requested by the Home Office does not extend leave under Section 3 of the Immigration Act 1971. If your reasons are not accepted, you will become an overstayer. So... That's what I mean. If, you're, if your airports are open, you can't apply for an extension. You, can't, you, you do not qualify for that extension, I should say. But you could, please don't take my word for it. Always seek legal advice. I'm sure they've got lots of online advisors, um, legal. So you can't go to their offices, but there are quite a few that are offering online advice. So um, what do people do now? Home office is shut down with regard, regard to appeals and visa applications. Well, we know with visa applications, that's on hold. You don't have to worry about it. Um, th there's nothing you can do, to be honest. Visa applications, there's no biometric offices open. There's no, there's no support offices open. The post offices are closed. So there's nothing you can do apart from wait. Um, if you had an appointment, they should have contacted you and told you that the appointment has changed. I think they're deferring appointments for six weeks. But technically, you should have had an appointment, a, a notification that your appointment's been cancelled. Like I said, I do not know if this applies to appeals. I couldn't find anything with all what I was reading about appeals. And somebody asked me about you know, they, they've got an appeal coming up. They've got a date. Is it still going ahead? I would think 
that if they haven't said, if they've got all your latest details, they have to have your latest number, your latest address. If they've got all your latest details and you haven't been notified of a cancellation, I would think that it's going ahead. But what can I say? I, I, I don't know other than that. Um, so Home Office Guidance on the 24th of March 2020. Um, people whose visa is expiring in April will see it extended to 31st of May 2020. But individuals must monitor closely for updates. And um, we don't know what the situation is if this lockdown extends beyond the 31st of May. So that's what I'm saying. Keep looking at the government website, www dot gov g for golf o for oscar v for victor dot uk dot u dot uk dot yeah www dot gov dot uk yeah okay that is the most um accurate and updated source of what is happening so if you are in this situation just keep on top of it because that changes day by day the Home Office has provided reassurance that those in the UK legally, but whose visa is due to expire or has already expired and who cannot leave due to the coronavirus outbreak, will not be regarded as overstayers or suffer any detriment in the future. Now, that looks like a blanket statement. Cannot they cannot leave due to the coronavirus outbreak. That means they cannot leave because the airport is closed of the country that they are meant to be going back to. That is the only reason why it's going to be extended. So make sure that your country's airport is closed before you ask for this extension. Otherwise, you're not going to qualify. Um, those visas expire between 24th of January 2020 and 30th of May and cannot leave. The UK are eligible for a visa extension to 31st of May. And that is the key words. They cannot leave the UK. That is the key. OK. Um, and like I said, this is not automatically applied. Those affected of all nationalities must um, complete the online form. Like I said, it used to be contact the Home Office Immigration via their email address. But even then, the online form must contain your full name, date of birth, nationality, existing visa details and the reason for extension, e.g. suspension of all flights to home country. So you have to make sure that all the flights to your home country have been suspended in any direction. These people don't romp. They don't just make it. It's not that simple. It looks simple, but you have to read. You have to listen to what they're saying or read what they're saying. Suspension of all flights to home country. That's what it means and that your country is open for business, i.e. the planes can actually land in your country. Okay, if you need evidence, if you need evidence, the corona, okay. Yeah, if you need evidence, the corona immigration, coronavirus immigration team will provide it for you. So if you do need to know whether or not your um the country where you intend to go back to is open or whether um they're suspended their flights the home office team immigration team the coronavirus immigration team their email address is c for charlie i for india h for hotel at homeoffice.gov.uk so you need to write them there. I don't know how long they'll take. They reckon they usually take about five days to respond. So hopefully they do. The Home Office has confirmed that original visa terms and conditions will continue to apply where an individual is able to benefit from an extension, although the precise legal basis for this is not clear. 
Anyone whose visa is about to expire and who is eligible to extend or switch to another category might wish to do that rather than rely on the coronavirus extension. It is not clear if the extension will be further extended if the lockdown continues beyond the 31st of May 2020. It's important to submit visa applications on time. Although applications can be submitted online um, via Soprasteria, all application centres in the UK are closed since the 30th of March 2020 and so biometric appointments cannot be made. Uh, post office enrolment service also closed. Appointments cannot be made via the Soprasteria website. It's not clear whether the Home Office will continue to process applications in the absence of fresh biometrics. Mindstick says no, but you never know. Those not eligible to extend should be prepared to leave at very short notice. So if you apply for an extension for this 31st of May extension and they refuse it based on the reasons I've given, you have to be prepared to leave like yesterday. So when you're sending the application and they say no, you better be prepared to leave. I'm just saying that to you so you're aware. OK, um, migrants in the UK would normally have to leave the UK and apply from the home country when seeking a more a move to a long term category. However, due to the circumstances, i.e. the coronavirus situation, the Home Office is exceptionally allowing those who cannot leave the UK due to travel restrictions and self-isolation to switch in-country until the 31st of May. So that's another situation where, you know, people who want to um, have a longer term, they will do that. They will allow you to do that in country if there are travel restrictions in the country, your home country, okay? So it's not just because the coronavirus is going on that they're doing this. The, the key thing is that the plane, the, the, no planes can land, the ports are closed, so flights have been suspended and your country is on lockdown. Then you'll qualify to switch in the UK. So all other eligibility rules will apply for the category. Employees should report, employers should report the changes to salary of furloughed employees, these are migrant employees, against the relevant, sorry, employees against the relevant migrant certificate of sponsorship using the sponsor management system. British nationals overseas cannot currently apply for British passports due to the reduced staffing levels at the British embassy and consulates. If, an, if a passport is needed, for urgent travel, they will need to apply for an emergency travel document. That's if they can actually travel. Um, the services are deferred for visas. I can see no reference to anybody who's got the point for appeal. I've already said that. The Home Office is saying they are rescheduling for six months' time. They, these are appointments, but no specifics about what type of appointments. Uh, they seem to be putting more emphasis in securing status than they are any other um, services like appeal processes. If you have a 30-day visa and cannot travel within the specified period, you will need to apply for a replacement vignette from your country of residence to enable them to enter the UK at a later date. And you should be able to reapply once the services resume. Uh, biometrics are meant to be submitted within 45 days of submission online, but that deadline has been waived due to the current circumstances. VFS Global confirmed that applicants will be able to schedule a new appointment or reschedule an existing one once VAC open up back if the appointments have been missed. Cancellation and refunds. Well, if you want to to cancellation, it is at the sole discretion of the British Embassy, but those visas who are still being processed, i.e. they're not finalised, but they're still being processed, may 
be able to with, you may be able to withdraw your application and seek a refund by emailing communications at vfsglobal.com. That's Victor Freddie Sugar Global.com, all one word. Any refund, like I said, will be at the sole discretion of the British Embassy. Planning to come to the UK? Will you be stopped? Well, your guess is as good as mine. If the officer thinks you are infected, he can pull you to one side and detain you. If the officer thinks you'll infect others, he can do the same. If you've left an infected area, you can be quarantined and isolated until screening assessment has been carried out. And there is a fine of £1,000 for non-compliance. And the thing is with this, you just better hope that none of those guys have had a bad day. Because if they decide to um, put you in isolation because they just happen to think that you've got the coronavirus or whatever reason. Um, so just be aware. OK, um, British citizenship ceremonies are being called off. Naturalisation and registration certificates are not being issued to application to applicants anymore. I'm not sure if this is temporary because of the coronavirus situation or whether this is the way they're going. Um, you know, everything's going digital. So maybe it's just the way they're going. Maybe you'll just get a number or something. The Home Office has announced automatic visas extension for all NHS frontline staff whose visas set to expire before the 10th of October 2020. Doctors and nurses will have their visas extended for another year without the need to make an application or pay fees. I think I said that before. The same will apply to their family members. There's no limit on the number of hours nurses and doctors in training can work over this period. Um, so all those nurses that want to do overtime, they can. And nurses who were required to sit their first skill test within three months and pass it within eight months have had this period extended, irrespective of their registration date. So I hope somewhere within all of that, you found it useful and informative. And yeah, that's all I've got to say for now. I'm, I don't think I'm going to do a roundup today. Ah, I'm exhausted. Bye-bye.